opposed to authenticating that it's actually the words of the prophet. Check it out. Patricia Bay, I had to edit it because I can't play the whole video. Go watch the whole video, sister. When I went to uh, Chicago on the microphone, I, I was in Chicago. I went actually went to, to Chicago and did research. And so what you find is um, when Wally was having problems with the infiltrators, the most infiltrators uh, came under Dan um, Belusia by the Captain Tudor. And you see lots of pictures of the documents uh, you'll see when uh, so he says that there's modification of documents, etc., etc. So, so, so what happened is he went from he went from talking about pardon parcel to start talking about the the, the infiltrate. But he answered. He answered because he told you about the modification of the documents, part and partial versus part and parcel is in the documents. And those documents were modified by these same people right here. Making you subordinate in your own land. And, and listen, family, listen, I'm just putting you up on game. I'm putting you up on game. When people start saying stuff and then they start being evasive and then they take the conversation somewhere else, obviously there's an issue right there. That's exactly what he did. That's exactly what he did. He's the shucking and jiver. Taj answered the question. The modification of the documents is what the problem is with part and parcel versus part and partial. Because part and partial is a fraud. And the only way that you're going to be part and partial is if you're looking at this like a club or if you're down with the U.S. Demos. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to clean the issue up. I'm going to clear the issue up momentarily. Y'all still with me? Because here we go. Well, we I'm you. about to clear the issue up right we now. You. Please clear it Parcel up. or partial? That is the question. So, family, what you're about to see right now, that is the original divine constitution and bylaw. Well, that's the original. From 1927. As mm -hmm. you can see, at the top of it, it has the Moorish Holy Temple of Science. Okay? From 1927, check the date. Uh, you want to feel it? You can authenticate it. It's from 1927. Okay. Now, when you look down here, where I got the red lines, you will see that on Act Four, all members must preserve these holy and divine laws, and all members must obey the laws of the government and become a and be because by being a motion marker, you are part and partial of the government is partial now if he's so official if he's so official how come he's showing you some powerpoint of the original whatever if they're the number one more science temple whatever how come they don't bring the document out they're gonna have everything else posed in, a, in, in the room they're gonna show everything else in the room and they're gonna pose up with all these other pictures and all this other stuff why don't they bring the original This is a copy. You can't tell me that a copy is an original. I'm not a jackass like these people who are viewing your stuff. And we told you, when they start talking about this is the original and this is the official and all that, know that they're playing the club with you. I didn't alter this. This is an old piece of paper. I didn't alter it. Part and partial. You know what I mean? I didn't alter it. And then when you go all the way to Act 6, you will see 
Same thing. With us, all members must proclaim their nationality. We're teaching our people that nationality and their divine creed that they may know that they are part and partial. I didn't, I didn't alter this at all. I didn't alter this at all. This is the real deal. This is the real deal. I didn't alter this. You know what I mean? So if you don't want the truth, so here's the original divine constitution and Bible. See, he said the key word is the original. As soon as they start talking like that, you know that they're playing the club game. And it's and it's quite a contradiction that the top of the official the official original divine constitution and bylaws says Moorish Holy Temple of Science, not Moorish Science Temple of America. Like these people are trying to push you into thinking that that what it's about. So if they're talking about they're repping this as the original divine and constitution and bylaws, then that means that they the, they're supposed to be dealing with civics, because they're really supposed to be Moorish Holy Temple of Science, and they're parading around like Moorish Science Temple of America. He showed you the thing right there, Moorish Holy Temple of Science at the top, and if this is the original, then how come you guys are saying you're Moorish Science Temple of America? Isn't that a fraud? Isn't that misrepresentation? But they're gonna play a little game with your part and partial and whatever, and just look it up in the law dictionary because they're supposed to be dealing with civics. Look up partial and look up parcel and tell me which one would you be under? If you're gonna claim one, which one are you gonna claim? This is the one before the one that you see behind me. You see, let me stop for a minute. This one was before the one you see behind me. All right? That's the original. All right? Now. How come he didn't show you that one back there to oh, see no. if that one says partial? I'm not finished. I'm going to give you more evidence. Now. The second evidence I'm going to give you is because somebody called me, a friend of mine called me and said, well, Brother Tarka Bay, you got to be careful because in the uh, Constitution and Bylaws, it says partial. But in the additional law, it says parcel. And parcel deals with individuals as well as land. I say, no, brother. No, that's not the case, friend. And now, I'm going to show you the original. Oh, there's the secret O word again. There's the secret O word. We told you before they drop their stuff, watch out for these Moorish whoever people that claim that they're the original and they're the official. Because more than likely they're a fraud. Additional laws. Anybody seen that yet? I'm going to show you the original additional laws. Here are the original additional laws right here. And anybody in the Morris Science Temple of America would understand and know what the original additional laws look like. How do we know that they are the original? This is original copy. Because if you can see closely, you will see this don't even say the more resides tip of America. Act 7, it says all members must promptly attend that means to become a part and partial, again, of all of the acts of the Moorish Holy Temple of Science. You follow me? Follow me? You see? And so maybe you don't understand the degree that the prophet was putting down, but it's not what you thought it was. Again, when you look at Act 6, with us all members must proclaim their nationality, we're teaching that people that nationality and their divine creed that may know that they may know that they are part and partial. Now it's a little No, I don't know about all that. Because I have a Moorish Holy Temple of Science 101 and 102 questionary scroll, the blue cover. And then that has the additional laws in it. And the additional laws that I have says parcel.
So we got parcel over here. So I don't know what these people are talking about partial to something if this is your land. This is your land, but you're partial. And you're admitting that out of your mouth that you're partial. And then you're showing copies of stuff and claiming that it's the original of something. You think people are stupid out here like you? So cloudy because it's an old document. Yeah. However, it's uh -huh. not hard to see that this is the original, the original additional laws. Again, how do we know? Because in Act 7, it doesn't have Moorish Science Temple of America. It has Moorish Holy Temple of Science. So when Todd says in the video that he has a uh, microfilm, well, the microfilm will have to compete with these facts right here and the microfilm that and I got that I'll be showing momentarily. And like we said, Let's just say it is partial. What the hell are you partial to? U.S. Corporation? Because that's the only government that you, you could be talking about. There's no other government that you can be talking about if you're partial and part. If you're part and partial of this said government, the only government that you're talking about is a colonial corporation. Why would Moorish Americans make you, Moorish Americans, part and partial of a colonial corporation if they weren't selling you up and you're accepting it lovingly? You're accepting it. And what happened to sit down and stuff like that? We were playing games. He wasn't talking all this BS at the little event with his 45-minute video, though. He would never say this to the master teacher's face, though. But he's going to make a video, just like we said, the day after. He's going to come make his video <laughs> and show you really what this is about and all that BS. Didn't even say anything when he was in the face of the master teacher. Tell you these people are sellouts. So, so when 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 you don't adult supervision, um, adult supervision or anybody else, maybe you don't. Let me let me explain something to y'all real quick. Bam. The issue is this. The issue is not trying to explain the the degree of partial and parcel. The degree is, is that the prophet used partial. So either you believe the prophet or you don't. Right, there's that religious stuff right there. There's that religiousize you. Have you on this BS about if you don't follow the prophet, then Allah is going to get you for not following the prophet. No Jolly said, think and save yourself. How about that? And since he said, think and save yourself, think about it. If you really are part and partial, P-A-R-T-I-A-L, of this said government, and you have a fez on and a turban and a nationality card and a Moroccan flag, You're really telling me that you're partial of a U.S. corporation? If you're telling me that you're part of a U.S. corporation and you're partial of that corporate government, then you are openly letting me know that you're a sellout. That's why they always leave space so they can put the Amity banner on the left. Because if they don't do that, they're going to get in trouble by their grand chic whoever's. Because their sellout protocol is make sure that they have the stars and stripes on the left and the Moroccan flag on the right. Have the eagle as the obverse and have the Moroccan flag as the reverse because they're selling you out.
and they have turbans and fezzes on. You worry about some Europeans. About how Europeans are monkeys and talking crazy. When it's God that the European who laid down our floor, our, our floor at the temple, the European did that. For cheaper than any of these Negroes who said that they could lay down floors. And he brought his price down on the strength that we're working for the upliftment of our people. You tell me you worry about some Europeans? No, Jolly even told you, Siron, that's selling you out. We're in turbans and fezzes. He wasn't even hiding. Letting you know. And he didn't name any names because that's how many sellouts there were around him. Oh, your brother's going to sell you out wearing turbans and fezzes. What do you mean? Which ones? Oh, yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'm the prophet. You listen to what I say. Your brothers were in turbans and fezzes. Are gonna sell you right back into slavery. No, but you're not saying who. Your brothers wearing turbans and fezzes are gonna sell you out. Either you following the prophet, either you subscribe to the prophet, or you don't. That's just what it is. I mean, we can't try to make this stuff what we want it to be. And that has been my argument. That has been my argument. Right, again, putting you in slavery. Because Nobu Ali told you to use your own goddamn five senses. How is he going to tell you that it's not how you think that it's supposed to be? The hell you mean? This is my birthright. How are you telling me what my birthright is supposed to be like? When I have my own interpretation of the prophet, I came into this planet at my own time under my own sun my own moon so you talking about i don't know what's up when i studied this i studied the stuff when i studied the stuff this is what related to me oh you have a disagreement with whatever okay you can have your disagreement but don't try to make it sound like i don't know what i'm talking about because you have some copy of some original or whatever, and I'm using my common sense. Shoulder to shoulder with the master teacher, brought up none of this. Sat there like a church mouse. Now you're talking crazy again. And so my argument has always been that charge do not teach the teachings of the prophet, Noble Drew Ali. And that's all I'm saying. It's no disrespect. You didn't say that to his face when you were shoulder to shoulder with him. I'm saying we don't know about your Mason, Masonic stuff and all that stuff where you're in distress and all that. You got hands showing palms. Don't play, huh? Don't frown your brow like you're the victim. You're not no victim. And I'm gonna show a little bit more. Y'all ready? Uh, I see people leaving because they don't want this here. I understand. This one hurts. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. This is gonna hurt me. But I still got respect for Brother Todd. And I'll show you why as this go on. I'll show you why as this go on. So we done dealt with partial. So now let's deal with uh, misquoting the prophet. You know what I mean? Let's deal with that. Let's deal with that. Listen to this. And as one, my really chairman was pretty positive law, and the fourth law was written for the law to be free and justice, and for the law of all members of your country. Guess what? I hit on that all the time. Now listen, with confidence, my brother says, guess what? I hit on this all the time. Listen to this again. And that's one. My really chairman, that's one. 
Marvin Chairman, we put it down here long. And then fourth law, we look at the love of the people. Fam, Act One does not say that. No. Check this play. How come he doesn't back it up further? You know when you have a, a situation where you're talking about something and then you move to a different subject matter. But a word from the previous subject matter might slip in the conversation. That's what happened with moderator. Because prior to what he's showing right now, they talked about moderator. Moderator came up. Right. And again, we're talking about an elder. So, you know, brain sharp, but don't get it twisted. Age does a number on the mind. So don't think he said moderator from some perspective of he doesn't know that it says Grand Sheik in the divine constitution and bylaws, like how this guy's going to push it off as. Like he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's misquoting Noble Juali. That was a matrix glitch. Why he said moderator. You find me, you go back. You go back to anything before this, right? Go back to anything before this. And you tell me, if you ever heard him say moderator and chairman before talking about divine constitution and bylaws. And if you have that, when you find that, please post it on YouTube as a response to Kujo questioning Tashri Bay saying moderator when making reference to grand sheiks in the divine constitution and bylaws of the Moorish Holy Temple of Science, the Moorish Science Temple of America. Right? He knew that he said moderator and you didn't say anything right there in his face. You didn't stop him and correct him. And then you're probably going to say, oh, yeah, he, well, I tried to stop him. But, you know, Taj likes to talk over people and, and talk BS. When you know you're in error. Because you didn't do any of this when you were in his face. Damn liars. The moderator and chairman, no. It says the Grand Sheik and the chairman of the Moorish Science Temple of America. You can Google it, the Divine Constitution and Bylaw. I got the old one next to the new one. It doesn't say that. And he says that he hit on it all the time. He's in error. He's in total error. And that's one. So 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 this is what I'm saying. My my argument is that the brother has not studied the prophet. I don't stop the BS. You and him already agreed that you and him have two stacks of, of, of papers that you're going to bring together. So how are you going to say it now? When you're in his face, you guys had phone book size of history of the Moore Science Temple that you're going to have a sit down and put this stuff together to make sure that we could figure out what's going on. That's what y'all were talking about. Now... You're talking about he doesn't know what he's talking about? What do you mean? You just you just agreed that he had the microfilm and he needs to bring his stuff and match it up with your stuff. But we're not going there tonight. Tonight you're doing your, your Frank Gary tonight. You're on your Frank Gary right now. Doing your doing your controversial BS. But we're here to let you know, ain't no controversy. You're a sellout to Harka Bay. 
and all those other more science temples of America that you run with. All of them playing games with the people's birthright. Care how many times that he quote the prophet. It doesn't mean that to me. Again, here we go. Number, they go, they go, I, they go never. I, I, now, this is my argument concerning um, this is my argument concerning that brothers who are not a part of temples, sisters who are not a part of the temple, and they scream that they are part of a movement. They are part of the Moorish National and Divine Movement. Listen to what Todd says, though. This is why I honor him, because what he do know, he do stand on, and what he think he know, he stands on. And I'm not being condescending. Listen to him. I'm saying that the Morse National and Divine Movement and the Morse Science Temple of America has always been together and never been separate. So when a brother or sister who's not in the temple and says they're a part of the Morse National and Divine Movement, that is a bold-faced lie. And I'm going to prove it according to the prophet. And Todd proves my point too. Listen. We're never separate. What do you find now? What do you find now? Just like you can find that they're treating me as if they are. This is what I'm saying. There's people around that are part of the Morse. What do you find now? Just like you can find that they're treating me as if they are. He said, you will find people treating that the Moorish National and Divine Movement and the NS MST of A is separate. Listen to the listen to the brother. What I'm saying is people run around and say I'm a part of the Moorish National Divine Movement, but during the time of the conflict, the Moorish the Divine the Moorish Divine National Movement and the Temple was one and the same. They're both idealistically, idealistically, they could have been different in concept, but they no, 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 no
They've never been separate. I mean, they've never been separate. So. Yeah, so what? They've never been separate. That's not on news. It's not on stuff that somebody's supposed to know. You just showed the goddamn divine and constitution and bylaws showing the freaking Morris Holy Temple of Science on the top. Not Morris Science Temple. So obviously, there ain't no separation. But it's very interesting that certain people only rep for Morris Science Temple of America when they open their mouth. They don't rep Moorish Divine National Movement like they rep Moorish Science Temple of America. They don't rep Moorish Holy Temple of Science like they rep Moorish Science Temple of America. They don't rep the Moorish Nation like they rep Moorish Science Temple of America. Old videos are on YouTube. Yeah, the whole video is on my channel. Go and watch it. I ain't trying to fake nobody out. I know y'all scared of the truth. I get it. But the truth will set you free. I get it. It's okay. But we're going back to this presentation. I know you all, I know you. I know this is a hard one to swallow. Todd's been around for 30 years. I know. I get it. But you're going to got to get this truth. How come you weren't talking crazy in his face, though? How come when you're with the master teacher, in his face, you're not talking crazy like you're talking right now? Like, why wouldn't you talk like this when you're in front of him? Why wouldn't you talk like this when you're in front of him? These straight are Cointel Pro Ops. Nothing's wrong with the temple. It's people like this that are in it that mess it up. That's the same thing that Taj was saying about the mal administration that they don't want to pay attention to. Because if they go there, then they have to bring up the books. Let's see what's been going on. And you'll realize that there's been maladministration. People claiming that they're grand whatevers. And they're not being of service to the people. They're chilling in their high chair, having more as whole hold their umbrella and stuff like that. Straight vampires. These moors aren't about any unity. These moors aren't about assisting and uplifting our people. This more is about being the number one Moorish guy that does the, the, the Moorish whatever, that all the Moors flock to them and then they can get picked up and put on everybody's shoulders and parade around the town. And then we put your head right in the noose and lynch you for being a sellout. Now you're doing this for some selfish gain. Liars using what Nogujuali brought in order to save the nation and not even putting you on to your birthright. They're trying to make you think that Moorish elder put in 30 years of work teaching people or whatever. All of a sudden, he's some fraud in 2018. He's some fraud. His stuff, he's not following the prophet all of a sudden. Liars out here. Now. He said he never saw the Moorish National and the Bible Movement and the MSTMA as separate. So if y'all interested in this information, come to the temple. 
The maladministration the mal in different areas that give people the wrong concept. The maladministration in different areas that give people the wrong concept. The maladministration of part and partial and then take out parcel. The maladministration of pushing that they're partial of a government that's a corporation. The maladministration of claiming the Moorish divine and national movement came out of the Moorish Science Temple of America. And we have the seal. So if he's the one that made this presentation, why is he talking about Moorish national divine movement? What is that? Together or separate? Maladministration. People who are supposed to be administering on behalf of taking the people's benefits. When they are, they, they already got their payout. You got the title. You know, there ain't nothing else for you to get. You got the title of grand whatever. That's your pay. You get to parade around. You get to wear the sash and the gloves and, and all that stuff. That's your pay. Everything else that you're doing is pro bono. Maladministration. This is a good point. This is a good point that I'm expound upon in a minute. But let's look at this. I didn't even have to pull up pull this up, but this is a flyer from the Prophet Nobu Ali. I've shown it before on a presentation. This is a flyer from the Prophet Nobu Ali. And at the top, you'll see Moorish National and Divine Movement. And you will also see what? Clearly, that says Moorish Divine and National Movement. Clearly, that says Divine before National. Now, if the title of the flyer is Moorish Divine and National Movement. How could you tell me that Moore Science Temple of America is what birthed? Th then Moore Science Temple of America should be on, on the top of the flyer, if that's the most important thing for Moors to know about this institution called Moore Science Temple of America that all these sellouts run. That should be the flyer. Come all the Asiatics and learn the truth about your nationality and birthrights because you are not colored and you must claim a free national name to be an American citizen. Remember what we talked about last night? American citizen is American civilian, one that knows law. American is the copper colored natives who were in this land before Europeans came here. Learn of your forefathers, divine an ancient creed that you will learn to love instead of hate. We are trying to uplift fallen humanity. Come and link yourselves with the families of nations. We honor all the true and divine prophets, Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Confucius, etc. Under this divine principle, all Asiatics of America need to come and take out their nationality and identification card 
for the Morris Science Temple of America, that you may be blessed by your Father God Allah. These holy and divine words are from the Prophet Noble Juali, the founder of the Morris Science Temple of America, and then meeting days, etc. And it's not like some club to me. The Morris Science Temple of America clearly defined, and you can find it at 3140 Indiana Avenue. And membership is free. I mean, and membership is free. It's clearly defined. It's not separate. The main office is at 3603 Indiana Avenue. Meeting at the temple every Friday and Sunday, 7.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. The Quran class is held every Sunday, 2 p.m. to 3.30. We are at the office every day at 12 noon until 7 p.m. That you may come out and take out your membership card. It's just what it was. It's just what it was. And whoever say that I'm holding the proper documents are hostage, my members are in this chat. They, 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 they get this. They get this. I'm not, I'm not throwing stuff all over the internet. Join the temple if you want to learn about the prophet over Dr. Ali. That's how the Moors back in the day learned about the prophet. Join the temple. I'm, I'm going to give you what I can, uh, uh, but I can't dedicate my life to, to internet uh, scholarship. I mean, I can't dedicate my life to internet scholarship. But he'll, but he'll dedicate his life to internet, internet slander campaigns against other Moors. He's not going to take his time to put out information for the people, but he'll take his time to put out slander campaign videos. Talking about people aren't following Noble Juali and they got certain people killed or whatever. Come and join the temple. You just heard the master teacher said but the maladministration up in there. And he and here are the maladministrators. These same people pushing these false premises. Having people running to join the temple and then in six months, they're going to call, be calling me down, talking about, I went to the temple, and they, this and they did that. What do I do? Because the guy in the temple is the guy that did whatever to me. People are crazy. If you're going to join a temple, better make sure that they're, they're straight. Better make sure that they are really Moors for real, for real. Not any of these sellouts out here. You got big FBI files on these people. What about some SPLC or whatever? These same people told. These same people told. Put it out there so you can see for yourself. FBI papers on everybody, every group. And they put all, it's public, everything's public record. Panther sellouts, Malcolm sellouts, Martin sellouts, the everybody. Hip hop police. They got everybody's stuff. Letting you know. Because when you check, you're going to realize, hey, that's one of our own. And that sell us one of our own. That sell us one of our own. Yeah, that sell us one of our own. Huh? All these, all these sellouts amongst our own. They have an agenda. And their continual agenda is to cause mass confusion. 
who told you this is Frank Gary Jr. Didn't you just put up a video saying he's the number one Moorish video TV YouTube guy? You think they're not in, the, in on the game? People are in on the game to make sure that we're out the loop. But here we go. Watch this. Next slide. Y'all ready? Next slide. So I'm telling Brother Taj that any time that I say that the prophet didn't say that, as you can see tonight, I'm going off of documentation. I'm not making this stuff up. I'm going off concrete documentation that no one can dispute because I've disputed it myself. That's the point. That's like you said. You know, you know, know one thing, you know, know one thing that, that I say, and this is the prophet's rule. The prophet is, and what is his job to people? Now listen to this. Watch this. He said that the prophet said, in order to change the people, you must change their literature. And I hear a lot of people say that. I want any person that's watching this, email me at yahoo.com and show me where the prophet said that. As long as people think that the information I have and the information that you have is a conversation between us, like we're comparing them. The truth of the matter is, anyone who holds a title in the room, you should meet their literature before you meet them. So listen, listen to what he said. And I've heard people said this to me before. Watch it. The truth of the matter is, anyone who holds a title in this movement, you should meet their literature before you meet them. Okay. And the difference. He says that anyone who holds a title in this movement, you should meet their literature before you meet them. I am expressing the literature of Prophet Noble Durali. Oh, uh, F-O-H, buddy. F-O-H. F-O-H. You already agreed to write the book that you didn't write because of that same statement. You didn't have a problem nine months ago when we challenged you about where's your literature since you're a grand sheik or whatever, and you jumped on it. Now I got a book coming or whatever. I'm working on the book. Oh, but because you didn't get your BS book done, now you're talking BS about you subscribe to the literature of Noble Drew Ali and that's the, that's the, how come you didn't say that back then? How come you said that you were writing a book back then nine months ago when we were having our discourse how come that ain't no that ain't no bomb dropping that's not no checkmate that's how snakes slither that's how snakes slither just like that you see how we dodged in and out of those pylons without even touching one? Slithering snakes. Cut your grass. Don't have any high grass around here. Because we burn grass down. We don't cut grass. Because we know that there's only snakes in the grass. This more just told you. that regarding everybody who has a title, they should have produced literature so people could meet their literature before 
they meet the actual individual, he's really telling you that he's not going to create any literature. He's just going to use Noble Juali's literature to reach the people. F-O-H, Tarek Abe. F-O-H. Because you already agreed to write the book that you didn't write. Why didn't you write your book yet that you said that you've been working on? So it should be done by now. It's been nine months. Nine months you haven't wrote a book, but check in the nine months how much BS videos you put out talking BS about somebody who you were just rubbing shoulders with like a little fag boy. So you're going to play stupid. Like you don't know what you're doing. We know that your son that is little brother. We know you want to be the Moorish him. We know that. You're not going to be that. Because that's sellout activity. And we don't respect sellouts. I don't respect sellouts. The other people want to respect sellouts, that's not them. I don't rub in shoulders with no sellouts. Who I know are sellouts. I don't. Where's your book? Where are you writing? I ain't writing nothing at this point. I got some writing that I haven't put out. Whatever, However, nigga. My thing is to. Whatever, nigga. Whatever. Whatever. Nine months to write a book. You still working on a book that you're supposed to write nine months ago? FOH. Establish or reestablish this real foundation of what the prophet brought to the people. That's it. You mean? Stop lying. All they need is the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America, 101 questionnaire, Moorish literature. They can have the oral statements, you know, just as some type of review as far as what Nobu Juali said. Divine Constitution and Bylaws, Moorish Guide newspaper. That's what Nobu Juali brought for the people. That's already accessible information. You don't have any secrets. Nobujuali took all that away. Are you talking about you're going to give people Nobujuali's literature only? Do you know how empowering it is for a more to be able to say, here's my book? And, and my book's in the Library of Congress. Because it deals with the history of the Moors. Islam to Brother Rami Salam El. Amazing facts about the Moors. We put out our literature. And people rep 77 facts. Rep that. That statement is so true. Because there are people who I've come in contact with that are some of the most righteous Moors that I know that met me through books that I wrote. So don't listen to this clown about give Noble Juali's literature and he's going to pose that off like he did something. But then he's going to be talking about people need to build something, people need to build something, but you wouldn't even write a book. Lazy ass. That's it. That's that's what I'm doing. And I'm doing it electronically right now, as well as on the ground. But my job is to show people with facts, proof, evidence that cannot be disputed 
of what the prophet taught. So I'm using the prophet literature. Don't ask me where my literature. So according to Todd's standards, before you listen to a person, before you listen to a person, examine their literature. That's not Todd's standards. That's just the standard. If you have information, you write a book. Not some Taj standards. Ivan Van Sotomar went on Taj standards. That's why he put out books, because Taj said. Stanley and Poole put out books because Taj said. That's what you're trying to say? Horace Butler put out a book because Taj said. Because Taj said put out books. That's why he put out a book. F-O-H with your BS. FOH with the BS. This is people's birthright. This is not a club. Examine the literature in which that I'm displaying right now. That's all you got to do. Examine it. I mean, examine it. That's all you got to do. I mean, examine the literature. You don't got to like me. You can. You don't got to like me. You can listen to. You can listen to Cool Joe, and you can listen to all of these moors that haven't studied the prophet and choose to dislike the uh, the work that I put down. No, you're not putting that work. That's what we dislike. What we dislike is the position that you take of being a rebel rouser to sway votes. This is not wrestling. To quote Brother Mario Bay in, in, in their chat, at Morris World TV, what I'm saying is this. If you would get off your hide horse, you'd get what I'm saying. Right to travel is a right we have, but I don't recommend anyone trying it unless you're me. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All these jokers, their time's been done. Their time's been done. These people are so far in the hole right now with this occupying force, playing this more science temple of America ink BS with people that, you know, nobody all these prophecies are manifest. One day, all the property is going back to the government. And remember that government's a private corporation. That's not government. However, you can't dispute this fact that I'm giving you. You can't dispute this. Now, here we go. Let's go to the next slide. Let's listen to what my brother Todd said. Now, one of the things that probably is going to say, if you were around a bunch of people who are creating a lot of confusion and not counting my law, the prophet is going to be all this way. Get out and look at them. Now, listen. This is another quote that I would love for somebody to email me at Tahakabay at Yahoo.com. Send me the quote that the prophet said it. And guess what? I'm going to rip it to shreds and show you that you are in error. Check it out. Find somebody that's going to do it and not them to do it. Now, I'm still having a conversation. He's saying that the prophet said, quote, unquote, that if you see somebody doing bad, 
get from under them and find somebody doing good and help them do good. Now that's what the prophet said. If you go through the oral statements, Noble Jawali made it clear that there's faithful Moors, there's loyal Moors, and that Moors are supposed to not violate the Holy Covenant. So if the Holy Covenant is telling Moors that if your brother and sister is in adversity, help them out, what do you think the reflection of that is? Not if your brother and sister is doing good, help them do more good? Just use your common sense. Noble Jawali is a prophet. And everything he said is spirit. And Moors are not heeding the spirit of what he said. Moors are only heeding what they see on a paper. Which is why there's confusion. Because people completely threw divine out the window. And they put national first and have you thinking that they're repping some noble Juali when they're telling you national first, before divine. And you wanna know why your stuff's messed up, why your life's messed up, that you're more and you're still doing nigger stuff when you're a more. How you a more doing nigger stuff? How you a more, you're slapping your girl? How? How you're more, you're not taking care of your responsibilities and your children. How you're more, you're not paying your dues, but you know, you got every color of shoe that's not made by a more. You know, every style of whatever. And so I'm just playing a little devil's advocate, if you will, God's advocate, if you will. <laughs> I'm saying, brother, do that mean abandon the temple? Check it out. Somebody that go to school and help them do more good. But does so that mean that does that mean abandon the whole temple concept? No, the so why does that have to come into it? No, exactly. No, you know, because he told you he's playing devil's advocate, then he switched up and said he's playing God's advocate, which is the devil still. So he's not playing Allah's advocate. He's playing God's and the devil's advocate. So once you realize that people aren't doing good, does that mean abandon the temple? No, it doesn't mean that. Why would that even come up? Oh, because he's playing devil's advocate, so we'll give that one a pass. Okay, fine. According to what he understands. The reason why I'm chopping the video, family, is because I can't... I had something against Taj. If I had something against Taj, do I introduce myself? Son to him. If I said something bad about Taj in front of my son, listen, my son understand that I challenge information. But when I have to explain to him while I keep saying Taj, 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 or Sinetta, 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 when me and Sinetta go back and forth, or Taj, Taj, Taj. You know what I tell my son? I tell my son that he's a Moorish American and we don't see things alike. And so it's good to. Why wouldn't Moorish Americans see things alike if Noble Juali gave them all the same stuff? Why would you just not speak, t tell your son the truth?
you deal with clubism. And because Taj Tariq is not part of our club, we don't mess with him. Just, just be honest. That's what it is. So, of course, under the guise of you went to Azeem Hopkins Bay Philadelphia tour and Taj was there, of course you're going to introduce your son to Taj. Why wouldn't you? Everybody's introducing everybody to everybody. So don't make it like you did something spectacular by introducing your son to Taj. You didn't do nothing spectacular. You were at a Moorish event and you created this whole thing that you're doing today from that, which is fraud. Because that means that wasn't genuine. If you know that you were making reference to things as a devil's advocate, that means you had an agenda going in with your camera in there. You had it in your mind that, because again, remember, this is the tour that goes on every year. And Taj Street Bay is always on this tour. Always. So people know that he's there. Remember, a lot of people there, the same people who were making videos, talking BS or whatever. But when they're with him, oh, yeah, thank you for the work you do and all that BS. But then, you know, not in his face and make videos talking crazy. Want me to think like that they're about some unity? I wasn't born yesterday. challenge information but Taj in your name is the same that's our brother that's our friend so so do I introduce my son to somebody that I dislike and hate come on man we gotta wake up man because we're challenging information doesn't mean that we're challenging the individual it's not challenging and information yeah, let me tell you something let me tell you something I still disagree with Charge. I still think that most people that listen to Charge. Why didn't you say all of this when you were in his face? That's my thing, my personal thing with you, Mr. You don't have a problem with Taj. But you disagree with him. Fine. Okay, if you disagree, why didn't you do that? when you were in his face. Like we said, why didn't you pull him aside in a corner and tell people, nah, this is not freaking for you guys. This is me and him right now. And he would have sat there with you too. Why didn't you do that? 45 minutes? You orchestrated some type of you and Taj elbow to elbow, yeah. This is my brother setting up your whatever you're doing right now. Trying to rep something. Let me give you a thumbs down too. They got no business going out there and jumping out the window. They got no business going out there jumping out the window. I'm going to give you all an example. Taj Tariq Bay. Let's get a little refresh. And inshallah, we will open up the records and we will compare. You only see a tad bit of the information that I have. Those who are part of the Noble Temples, they see it all the time. You know? Um, and like I said, you know, uh, uh, when you go to your biology class and you dissect the frog, 
or your teacher show you how to dissect the frog, that don't mean you should go home and cut your dog up. That don't mean you should go home and cut your bird up. That don't mean you should go home. What the hell are you talking about, man? And dissect your cat. That doesn't mean that. Period, point blank. And so with that being said, appreciate y'all for coming through. Uh, got another good show coming up. Got another good nothing. These people are the sellouts. We're telling you. They're telling on themselves. Find yourself some righteous mores and help those mores get this word out to our people. You know, they're close. They're very close. But they still got some ways to go. They still have some ways to go. They're not completely there yet. Because they fail to realize the point that they have a birthright. They're Moors. Regardless of what they see and think about Moors and oh, I saw this happen and I saw that and I heard this guy and oh, I don't like him or whatever. He he's can't be a... Regardless of what they see, they're Moors. Right? They are Moors. And yes, the unconscious Moors outside the temple are supposed to know about their nationality and their birthrights. And it's the people in the Morris Science Temple of America that's been supposed to gone and told those people that. But what have they done? They played their little club, closed door meetings. We already know, we went to the temple in Pittsburgh. We went to the Pittsburgh temple. Looking in the mail slot, seeing people inside play pretending like they're closed or whatever. You know, these moors are playing games out here, they're not about uplifting their people. That's first hand knowledge. Moors, moors who are my brothers. When we went to Pittsburgh for our Moorish, whatever it is that we were doing in Pittsburgh as our type of Moors, 720 active Moors, we went on the maps and we found out where the temple was and we went to the temple. Went to the temple, folly going on. Yep, Brother Yusuf was there. Brother Amazite was there. A few other Moors were there. And these Moors literally didn't even invite us inside. They came outside and closed the door to talk to us. You tell me that's not disrespect? Like these Moors are telling them, hey, this is our grand sheik or whatever. This is our grand sheep. We just came to just see the temple. Oh, all right, yeah, all right, mm -hmm, yeah. All this time we're outside, standing outside. And we're just standing outside. These are more science temple of America people, ink seal people, reincarnated prophet people. Stood there looking at us like, what you boys want? Like, we had to engage them. Like, they didn't, you know, welcome to the Moore Science Temple of America. I see you brothers have fezzes on. Are you guys Moors? What, what, what temple are you from? And what? None of that. They were hiding inside. It was only because the Moor looked in the mail slot why they came out. They wouldn't have came out. They would have played that they were closed. But they're supposed to be for the uplifting of our people. Remember, these are the same Moors that were on people's court and then went and got Morocco Day and stuff like that. These are the same Moors who's going on the little trek that this man's at 
where he's filming his stuff, doing his little campaign. That that it's on the record that those same Moors that's been doing this Philadelphia trek for all these many years or whatever. When people started finding out that Taj Tariq Bay was going to those, that's when Moors started going to those. Before that, that was just their little club stuff that they were doing. I wasn't open to Moors everywhere that could go to that. Taj Tariq Bay made that happen like that because of his fame and nobility in teaching Moors. People playing like we don't have background info. You know, show me some Noble Drew Ali stuff. Wait, what's official of Noble Drew Ali or whatever? Right? Treat, straight treating the temple like a lodge. Straight treating the temple like a lodge. G. Dane. Always remember time. That's the illusion. And these people waking up are bumping into these clowns and getting caught up in BS. I know that because they call me after they get caught up in the BS with them. That a more told them that they're going to take their nationality card from them if they don't pay their dues or whatever. So if you have a lane, go in your lane and do what you're supposed to do for the Moorish movement. You don't worry about what we're doing. You know, why are you talking about dirty Moors so much? Can you talk about something else? No, can't talk about anything else because that's the problem in the Moorish movement. That people love to play games and side with traitors. All you want to do is side with the most popular traitor. We're more as who study. And we are more as who study. We are more as who know the truth about our nationality and birthrights because we are that. We're telling you. We got all these Moors out here, children, who's beating up these people's school system. Think yeah, about us. Liars. Well, I'm to the interview with Taj that was supposed to happen. All these people are liars. Use people's name for views. We don't care what you think. If you have a lane and you're with the Moorish movement, do what you do. But don't tell me about, don't talk about dirty Mars or whatever. Because I'm no, I'm the one on the phone with people in jail or whatever because some dirty Mars sold them some package. I'm the one on the phone with chaplains. Because some more got caught up messing with some dirty more. I 
I'm the one on the phone. With Moors and Three Ray with their mates who don't know what to do. Because they listen to some dirty more. So trust me that it's a problem. That's why I choose to address that. We give you all the reference points you want. You go study that for yourself. I'm not giving you no info that you can go study yourself. And if you want that, when we do Q&A day, you get whatever info the more send for you to have some info. But we don't babysit people. We don't want to be your babysitter. You shouldn't want to be babysat. You should, you should want to live by the five principles. Do like, you know how beautiful the five principles are? And then you apply those to your life? Do you know how amazing your life's going to be? Just from applying five principles, that's it. We put out hell info. But the point is for you to study because man knows not by being told. And the only thing that you should be listening, listening to that's told is what man experienced. Especially if the, the experienced man is coming from the perspective of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Righteousness will prevail. Righteousness will prevail. We love to all the mores. Peace and love to all the mores. Give thanks for Staying true. Give thanks for staying true. We'll catch up Sunday right here, Canaan Land Mars, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Peace and love to all Mars, Islam. And keep studying. Watch out for these dirties out here.